all that can be perceived is a semblance of God, never God in God's entirety. The word like has become almost meaningless. It has replaced the pause as an inane filler. It punctures contemporary conversations with such frequency that it all but goes unnoticed. I was like, look at this, and she was like, no way, and I'm like, you better believe it. You get the idea. It's perhaps more than a little surprising then to discover that one of the Hasidic masters ascribed this linguistic quirk to God at the revelation, at Sinai, no less. At the opening of the Ten Commandments, God introduces God's self amidst fire and thunder as Anochi Hashem Elohecha, translated as I am the Lord your God. The Ishbitzer Rebbe, however, translates these words as I am like the Lord your God. He bases this novel translation on the construct of the Hebrew word Anochi, I, as in I am the Lord your God, which contains four Hebrew letters, Aleph, Nun, Kaf, and Yud. It would have been simpler and more direct, observes the Ishbitzer, for God to introduce himself with the shorter word, Ani, which also contains the letters Aleph, Nun, Yud. Why does God use the longer word with the extra letter, Kaf? In a burst of creativity, the Ishbitzer playfully places that extra letter kaf at the beginning of the word. So it spells not anochi, I, but rather ke'ani, like I. What does all this mean? Behind the word play is an audacious idea, and that is that God was not fully revealed at Sinai that the children of Israel encountered only a likeness or outer dimension of the divine. The true Ani, the true I of God, is above the grasp of human beings. All that can be perceived, even in the unprecedented moment of the Sinai revelation, is a semblance of God, never God in God's entirety. There are religious fundamentalists who believe that they possess the whole truth, that their faith brings them into an encounter with God, entitling them to order the world accordingly, regardless of how it may hurt or deny others. The Ishbitzer's God is not a fiction. He descends onto Mount Sinai and instructs the children of Israel to observe his Torah. Nonetheless, there is an unbridgeable gulf between the human perception of God and God's self. This gulf is captured by the expression Anochi and invites us to assume a stance of humility, wonder, and even occasional doubt as we do our best to live a life in concert with what we believe is God's will.